Hi, I am Kedger on Two Wheels and today we'll be reviewing the Nolan N87. So Kajirina has a new helmet. This is the Nolan N87 and I got her this one in particular because it is a good bang for buck helmet. At least that was my expectation. Getting a, a good helmet in, in, in the this is a good helmet range, uh, the mid top range, not a very cheap one because safety is important, comfort is important, I wanted something durable, but I wanted something that would give me a good bang for buck and boy did this deliver. The first thing that impressed me the most is the sheer build quality of it. Everything is using great materials, everything is correctly assembled, nothing jitters, nothing is shaky, nothing is loose. Everything is high quality. I was mega impressed by the build quality on this. I think this is the best built cap, uh, helmet I have ever had. And I've had a Shoei, an XR1100, and I have an SR2, a Schubert SR2 right now. And I honestly think this one is better built. Apart from the build quality, other good points of this helmet is the sheer completeness of it. This, it's in the range where it the helmets usually have all kinds of gear but this one literally brings everything it has an integrated sun visor it comes with a pin lock pre-installed so you don't have to buy the pin lock it's not just ready for pin lock no the pin lock is in there uh, the ventilation you would expect the front ventilation two top ventilations in the heads and two extractors uh, in the rear behind the spoiler several aerodynamic spoilers every now and then a couple of things in the front that look like a couple of beards at the front which I like quite a lot great interiors great looking interiors very comfortable interiors you just need to touch them to see how high quality all of this is the bottom has fake leather which really looks like real leather and I would be well I really doubt it's real leather but it sure does look like real it is that good and a little strip of reflective material at the bottom this just brings everything oh and it's also pre-prepared for ENCOM, so you can put the ENCOM in here directly and it's flush with the helmet. Basically, what gear, what equipment does this helmet bring? Yes. Oh, and the helmet bag too. So there's nothing lacking on this one. That's the other good point. An average point is the looks. It is not an ugly helmet, it is a pretty helmet, but it is not a spectacular helmet. Why? Because this is that nice in-between helmet. It is a street helmet, so it's not radical for circuits. It doesn't have those radical aerodynamic lines with a big spoiler in the rear for high-speed circuit riding. No, it's for street riding. So it's that in-between between that circuit riding and the more straight-up position for adventure riding. So it's meant to be, ride, to be ridden like this and to be ridden like this. So it needs to be used in this whole range. Because of that, it has some relatively conservative lines, but it's not ugly. It's not like a big fishbowl, which was the usual for these kinds of helmets. It's not fishbowl shaped. It's got a pretty cool lines. And I like the, this, this look quite a lot. It's very sober. Kajirina preferred this flat black uh, look. I much prefer the graphics. There are some graphics which are very discreet. One of my favorites is flat black with just a few details in red or orange or whatever. There are some more flashy um, graphics, but that's up to you. It's even got a nose guard, which integrates very nicely with the integrated sun visor, which goes down all the way down, nearly all the way down to the nose guard. So it does cover your whole field of view which is a great improvement over my last helmet with a sun visor which only came all the way up to half my viewport which was a bit annoying because all the road reflections came straight into my face without the sun visor the bad part this helmet has just one thing i do not like and that i do not really like it has a a neck roll which is very thick and in completely prevents you from attaching an intercom to it. 
right where the intercom clip would go in between the polystyrene and the shell itself where usually you would put in a small clip to slide your intercom in it's way it's got a big plastic piece that completely prevents that makes it completely impossible for you to put an intercom here the only way to put an intercom here is to glue it to the side using what the intercom makers already um, give you because of these kinds of helmets uh, usually have to you have an adhesive base instead of the clip one exactly for this and even so there's a little bend on the helmet exactly where you would like to put it in so you can't put it there you have to put it a bit further to the rear and even further to the rear the shape is a bit weird so it doesn't quite glue and the, the ideal place is really here on the extreme rear of the helmet which looks frankly stupid I put it a bit further forward because I know this is for Kajirina if it was that much backwards she would complain that it was weird so I put it in a bit of an intermediate position so it's it's still kind of away from the air so it will not prov cause undue noise or in drag uh, but I'd really like this to be a slightly better solution these things I would prefer these not existing these are here because of the NCOM integration which is a plus and a negative at the same time it's good it's a nice thing to have I can't say it's a bad thing it's a good thing uh, but these kinds of integrated intercoms are a pet peeve of mine because if you buy one of these for this helmet that's great you crash with the helmet and when you go to buy a new one you have to buy the same helmet because of the intercom unless you want to shell out even more money for another intercom and these are not not cheap intercoms unless you are very lucky and your new helmet is also a Nolan and it's compatible with this one in particular that you bought for this one it's just not it's not just Nolan that does this many manufacturers do this and it would be much better if these were just universal between all helmets then this would be a major plus this way it's a bit indifferent because I would still advise you to get something like a pack talk which will outlast the helmets it will outlast several helmets and you can just shift in between helmets and if you have several helmets you can just clip it off put it on the next one and just clip it back on and it's ready to go the good thing about this is that it's got the detents or the holes for the speakers so you just need to put the speakers in the holes it even has little holes for the cables to go through and so everything gets really well set up really really well hidden and everything is fine inside the helmet now the important part of the helmet safety you can go check in sharp but Nolans are known to be pretty safe helmets ventilation comfort and soundproofing there I can't tell you firsthand because my head does not fit in here no way my head will fit in here this is Kajirina's helmet and her best praise is it's the same as the old one and why is this great praise she came from an LS2 FF351 which is the lowest of the low of the low it's a $40 helmet which barely qualifies as a helmet ventilation is non-existent in uh, soundproofing is also non-existent and comfort is somewhere between an Iron Maiden and someone hammering your head for three hours straight it's a horrible helmet but it is a very very cheap one so all in all that one's also a pretty good compromise but it's it's bad it's bad and so she went from that into a Shoei XR1100 which was my son's old helmet he outgrew the helmet she has the same size head so she wore it for a while she said that the XR was a completely different league from the LS2 as you would expect but she never liked the color the helmet was very old so it needs replacing and when she used this one for the first time I asked her what do you think and she said uh, it's roughly the same which is great praise coming from a mid okay granted mid to high tier of helmets compared to a top-end helmet like a Shoei which was still one of my favorite helmets in terms of comfort and ventilation I also had one and if she says this is the same that's high praise indeed a couple of caveats though she rides a 1 to 5 she rides a 1 to 5 very slowly like maximum speed is like 80 kilometers per hour and so ventilation she will never really feel ventilation at high speeds same thing with wind sound so you need to take that into account but comfort I believe you just need to look at these interiors these are make me a bit jealous these look 
top notch, really top notch. So, summing it up, oh, one more detail. Every time I look at this helmet, I find little more details that I really enjoy. For example, I really enjoy the system for closing the visor. It's in the center of the helmet, which I love. I hate it when it's only on the left, which is also a always a mess when you're in a stoplight and you have your clutch pulled in and you want to crack open the helmet and you can't. So you have to use your right hand because your left hand is grabbing the clutch and you can't really, it doesn't give you the correct leverage or it just opens the helmet on the left side and not on the right side. I hate it, okay? Middle is perfect because whenever you open the middle, you know both sides are going to open to the same detent instead of what happens on my SR2 where it's usual that one, one of the sides of the visor is on a higher detent than the other so I can see it going skewed which is horrible so that's the advantage of having it in the middle easier to find my both hands and party pieces you can just close it and it's closed it's got a very slight gap for more air coming in through the helmet and then if you give it a second little press not a lot of force but just a tiny push clamps down onto a little plastic piece and it is completely sealed it's forcefully sealed you need to put a bit more force to open it but it'll open it's a great and simple little system and i adore it we see it sometimes usually on the left or on the right side the thing is putting it on the left on the right what happens is that you crack it open just on one side which has happened to all my helmets so far they have this or a similar system just on one of the sides and I try to crack it open, then I can see a gap on the left side, but no gap on the right side. And that as a symmetry drives me nuts. Okay, This one will not trigger my inner OCD. It's a great little helmet. Another detail, the viewport or the pin lock is huge. It covers the whole viewport. You don't actually see the pin lock when you're riding. Kajirina did not mention the pin lock. She did not even know it was in here. And just looking at it, you can see it's completely hidden from view. You might be able to take to kind of see the pin lock on the bottom, but you cannot see it on the top and you cannot see it on the sides because it comes all the way back to the edge. That's another thing I like about this helmet. Every time I look at it, I find one little extra detail that I like. Another one. Look at the chin guard. It's a simple design. But it's cut so when your, your nose slips past, it doesn't hurt your nose or your, or your chin. The Shoei was notorious for... No, the, the Shoei... Yes, the Shoei was notorious for hurting my nose whenever it, I removed it or put it on. Because this was very stiff. The chin guard was very stiff. It was very coarse. And it would hurt my nose every time I would put it in or, or off. This one, very soft. Covers well. But it's, it's got this strange little design which bends so your nose goes through without hurting yourself. Tiny details, people, tiny details. I love it. So, all in all, a very, very, very good bang for buck helmet, one which surprised me a lot. I'm quite happy with it. And I like that I have, that I spent money on something that I keep looking at and I keep finding new things that I like about it. Absolutely awesome. And I would suggest you guys take a look at the Nolans don't skip it they may, might look a bit boring they might not look as flashy as other helmets but these are really really good helmets really high quality I was not expecting it I'm pretty surprised pretty happily surprised so that's it cage routes